Hello and guten Tag to War Thunder with Lutsch Dahlhagel. In this video I want to do a review of um, the Tiger 1 tank, this beautiful machine here. And want to show you what to do in this machine and what to not do in this machine. So what can you expect from it and what can you not expect from it. First of all let's look at the stats. It's a rank 3 tank with a battle rating of 5.7. So the main opponents uh, will be the T-34-85. The SU-85 and um, sometimes the IS-2 and the IS-1. Um, this machine weighs 57 tons and has a 650 horsepower engine, which makes this machine pretty unagile. And on top of that, the turret rotation time is only 7.5 degrees a second, which makes it around about half the time of the T-34-85 and the IS-1, which has a turret rotation time of 14 degrees a second. Um, so what can you expect from this tank? First of all, the armor is very, very good. If you consider the armor directly from the front, you will see it's round about 120 on the lower glasses, 100 millimeters on the glasses the upper hole and 110 to 140 millimeters on the turret. So that's not that's not pretty um, impressive, but if you angle this tank round about 20 to 30 degrees, round about this, you can see the armor will increase up to 130 millimeters and the lower glazes even better up to 200 millimeters. And if you consider the turret, which should be facing our way, this tank has an armor up to around about 130 millimeters overall, which makes it very, very hard to be penetrated by the T-34-85 and the IS-1 gun. The only guns that, that could penetrate this tank, even in this angle, <coughs> would be the IS-2 and um, the T-34-85's um, composite rounds. So, this tank um, is very well armored. The only chance you can take it out when it's, when it's angled and from the front is the Coppola. But remember, it's not World of Tanks. You don't um, decrease a health bar. But sometimes you can manage to shoot inside the Coppola and then the, the shell would collapse into several tiny fractu fractures and kill the crew instantly. So. You can try it, and um, sometimes you have luck, sometimes not. What else can you expect from this tank? Well, the gun. The gun is very, very good. It's the 88mm Kampfwagen Kanone 36, and it has a very devastating punch. The armor penetration of the shells um, reach up from 130mm down to 70mm, and um, if you, if you look at the 1000 meters range, it still has 105 millimeters of penetration. So you will be able to kill an IS-1 even at a distance of 1000 meters. The IS-1 cannot kill you at this distance, so I recommend the Tiger tank to be played as a long distance sniper tank. Because um, the shells have a very flat trajectory, so they don't um, fall very much during um, their journey to the uh, target and um, yeah they are pretty fast so you don't have to go, uh, give so much lead. Um, the inner modules you can see here are um, yeah, I would say pretty well um, stored inside the tank. If you can penetrate the Tiger tank from the turret front you do, know, you do not so much um, module damage you could only kill like two or three of the crew members. I would recommend you to fight the tiger, if you have the possibility, from the sides and aim for the upper hole. If you can do that, you will um, be able to cook off the ammunition quite easily. Furthermore, if you are, are have a tiger right in front of you and it's not angled, shoot directly inside the middle. So the possibility that you will kill all the crew members or at least um, jam the gun or uh, incinerate the tank will be pretty high. 
So that's it um, from the garage or from the hangar. And I would um, now um, present you the Tiger Tank uh, inside a battle and show what it's capable of on the battlefield. So I hope you have fun. Well, now we are inside um, the battle. If you were asking yourself what user skins I use, I use the um, historical user skins of a community member called Tiger6 or Tiger VE. He makes some very good um, historical or semi-historical user skins for um, the German tanks, especially the Panther, um, the Tiger 1 and the Tiger 2. Um, if you want to have a look for the skins, I put a link below the video and um, yeah, you can look for the skins and um, yeah, if you enjoy the skins, put it on your tank and have some fun with it. By the way, we are here on the Ash River map and I was put up to the north and in the beginning of the match I always tried to um, destroy the enemy tanks that are trying to outflank us and try to cap our points or our um, strategic points and um, I choose this battle because um, it shows nearly all that you can expect from this tank it shows what you can do with the tank and what you cannot do with this tank for instance this T-34-85 down there shot at me and I was very well angled and he would never was never be able to penetrate my um, armor so yeah that's a good example for that right here he managed to sneak a shot into my low glasses because I did not um, react to his movement and did not angle my armor well so he was able to put a shot uh, inside my lower glasses. However the shot did not that much damage and I could return fire at him killing him instantly blowing the tank up um, due to hitting his upper glasses and then um, avoiding his artillery fire that um, he called in on me. This was a very good first example of the hard hitting firepower of this tank and as you can see while I'm retreating the tank is not very fast in the backwards movement so always keep that in mind. I then went down the hill and tried to react to a threat in the middle of the map and T-34 and IS-1 were making trouble uh, down there and I was trying to outflank them while um, yeah, getting them from the side or from the rear um, to do that I have to get up this hill here or this slope and as you can see this is a perfect example for the unagile and uh, underpowered Tiger 1 tank. It's very very slow up a hill and up a slope and always keep that in mind when you're trying to um, outmaneuver an enemy. Actually I had to um, increase the time here for you so that you were not bored to death. I was um, biting my nails when driving up this hill um, because I was um, f terrified of getting too late um, and that I could not help my buddy up there. On flat terrain the Tiger is pretty fast though. Um, it can reach its max speed of 45 km an hour um, pretty easily and um, is surprisingly fast. Um, a little tip from me, if you try to turn the Tiger around always move a little bit forward and then turn it makes the turn time very very much easier. Um, I managed to get up here and um, support my Panther 1 uh, friend here and f help him fighting off the T-44 and the IS-1 below. At this moment I realized uh, well my Panther body um, had a very good hold down um, strategic position and I was thinking okay let's not um, stay here let's get these guys from behind and what I was thinking now, um, going up to the other bridge and fighting them there, but I was thinking, well, my gun depression is not that good. Um, so I had to go down there and fight them one-on-one -on, -one, um, on flat ground. I wanted to take out the T-44 first. Even though it's a uh, medium tank, it's better armored than the IS-1. Um, the turret has 120 millimeters and the hole um, up to 160 millimeters angled armor and um, I was able to kill T-34 um, hitting him in the back of the turret where the ammunition is stored and then I was I saw that the IS-1 did not react to me and I was able to um, yeah, uh, surprise him and kill him with the um, upper glasses shot to the side 
as you could see, the IS-1 nearly managed to uh, turn its strong or its frontal armor towards me. Um, this was because of my slow turret reverse. The turret of the Tiger is pretty slow, and um, you always have to keep that in mind, that you, that you pre-position your turret towards the enemy when you get up a slope or down a slope, or even around a corner, um, because turning the turret then, after you um, get around a corner or up a slope, would be a big fault, because um, the enemy's turrets will be uh, much faster and could react more um, to your threat. After the Panther and I cleared the middle of the map, um, the match was nearly over. I tried to eliminate all the enemy threats to the north, and uh, our companions tried to rush um, over the south and already were capping the strategic point of our opponents. Um, yeah, the match was nearly over, and the Panther and I was then looking for the last enemy tank and uh, swipe him off the battlefield. As you will see now, the top speed or the speed of the Tiger is is quite okay for its heavy weight and for its good armor. So I was able to reach around about 20 to 30 um, kilometers an hour um, due to much steering. And um, if I had not steered that much, I would be able to reach its um, speed around about 30 to 40 kilometers. And so that y you can see the Tiger is pretty uh, um, fast on the battlefield. Um, we were seeing our last tiger friend here fighting off the last enemy in an IS-1. He made a big mistake and did not angle his armor, so the IS-1 was able to kill him instantly with the shot up um, through the upper glasses. And I was then able to um, penetrate the IS-1 uh, in its turret armor. Our second shot did no damage whatsoever. Um, we angled our armor very well and the IS-1 was not able to penetrate us. Our panther friend then killed him. Shortly after that, um, yeah, we won the match. Well, that's it for the Tiger. I hope you um, could see what this machine is capable of on the battlefield. It's not a good all-round tank like the T-34-85 or the T-34 overall. But if you can play this tank um, to its strengths, like good armor and devastating firepower, you will have very much fun on the battlefield. And you would be not afraid of uh, many tanks on the battlefield. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, see you next time. Bye.